Good morning everyone. Well, it's not quite the morning, so I shouldn't be saying that, but uh, we are starting our Belladrum adventure. So we're heading down a day early. We've got the early passes to go in, which is great because we were so... I don't want to say... We weren't panicking, but we were really disorganized. Like, going in a camper with two kids, that's a lot. Let's see if I can actually stand you here. Can I stand you here? We did pack yesterday, but just a sheer amount of like the food and then we're like the duvets. It's just so many things, so many things. The weather's amazing. Let's hope it's gonna stay like this so we're currently actually in Inverness I was gonna film earlier I was gonna film the whole like handover with the camper and stuff but with the kids and just everybody and always being in a rush we're always in a rush we're never like early enough like you know <laughs> we actually we wanted to be at the campsite at four it's five but it's fine because we don't even know what we're doing with dinner so we just pulled up to Tesco's I just bought some stuff for Noah. He's sleeping. So I came back to the camper and Darren went with Ariel to get some food because today they're not going to have any of those belladrum things open. So we need to do like a grill or something. I don't know. I feel so like sweaty and festival-y already. <laughs> but we're staying there the whole weekend. So we've hired a camper. I'm pretty sure we both thought that, I mean, we were convinced we're getting a sixth berth. This is not a sixth berth. So it has the bed up there, which we absolutely hated. We couldn't sleep on. But this time it's the bed that goes down like automatically so i think it's lower than the one that's at the roof so i'm really hoping the kids are not going to argue because i do not want to sleep up there like last time we had the sixth birth and we gave the kids the big beautiful bed at the back and we struggled that is over six foot and he had to like kind of sleep all like curled up on the little bed down and the kids had that massive bed that four of us could have easily fitted on so this time around we're like no like why did the kids get that massive bed so no one's napping right now Darren's mom and dad are parked near us so they're off to a shop as well this is my very first festival i'm going to and it's a family one which is really cool and i had all those ideas for all those outfits and you know what i didn't fulfill any of them so i've got my crazy dungarees i've got a crazy dress that i thought if there's anywhere i'm gonna wear it's gonna be the festival so i've got that i think i'm overthinking things but you know we're excited we're almost there i think we're like you know what actually i'm saying we're almost there i bet you we're not oh no we are 11 miles or half an hour not bad not bad so it is the early bird ticket so the festival starts tomorrow but we get to go there today and you know set everything out be kind of ready for tomorrow i am losing my voice and more things apparently i'm allergic to pollen right now something new i acquired once i've turned 30 so <laughs> yay we've been to so many shops like we've been to so many shops i went shopping yesterday we stopped by a uh, banff and like a big shop there now we're stopping here we also stopped at the corner shop so many stops so much money spent i was like this camping trip is gonna cost a holiday abroad <laughs> it's gonna be such a good experience it's gonna be so much fun the kids are so excited something new for everyone and an uh, opportunity for me to cover myself in gems and glitter so that'll be good <laughs> But yeah, I can't wait to kind of sort things out. I should actually now maybe sort the back a little bit better because they're probably gonna take a while doing shopping. So maybe I should do that instead of sipping. Or maybe I should make a cup of coffee. You know, a cup of coffee would be amazing. And I could make a cup of tea for Darren. But I don't even know where the kettle is. And if we can use it when we are like, I don't know. See, I would do it. I do not know how to work the buttons. And I don't want to mess anything up. So I actually don't know. I don't see a kettle. Oh, I really hope there's a kettle. <gasps> I never took a cafe here. Oh no. I took a coffee, but I never took a cafe here. Are you still in the shop? Okay, can you? I can't. Uh, can you see if there's like a, you know that thing I make coffee in? I but like little one. I don't think they have it here. I also don't see a kettle. I took the coffee that I drink, but I forgot it doesn't. You can't just put down water. It has to go through a little thing. Okay. Okay, thank you. Love you, bye. Yeah, I don't see a kettle. I do not see the kettle. There's gotta be a kettle. They're not expecting people to take kettles, right? I'm hoping the nights are gonna be cooler as well, because being in a camper with a lot of people tends to get really stuffy. And I'm really hoping we're not gonna get too hot, so. We'll see, we'll see but okay i think i'm gonna tidy up because we've put everything in the storage but as for the bed we just shoved the blankets so i think i'm just gonna make it look slightly nicer it's so tight here this cover is so much smaller than the other one see i took a sparkly strawberry dress because i've got nowhere else to wear it so what better place <laughs> Good morning. 
morning everybody welcome to the first day in Belladrum. i didn't really film yesterday except a lot of journey thing we just kind of set up the camp and uh at food talked and went to bed but it's a new day i'm all dressed up it's really early the music doesn't start till afternoon but i'm already as you can see looking like a children's entertainer so we're just gonna go and pick up some merch because we bought some merch t-shirts and stuff the weather's not crazy but you know what i'm not complaining because the rain you don't really feel it it's just literally spitting and yeah taking this opportunity to vlog before it gets really crazy it's not a picture sweetheart i'm filming come here picture look you can see yourself are you excited yeah yeah you're gonna have so much fun yeah We'll do a picture too. Picture. Picture of what? Me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he loves picture, the picture of me. So they're still setting up. Everything is still nice and empty. Look at it. This is the main stage, I think. That's so cool. We're racing to the merch. A few moments later. <laughs> Okay, so we've been back quite a few times. I wasn't filming that much because obviously we're, we're with a lot of family and they do not want to be online. So yeah, we just kind of looked around, which I need to properly film tomorrow. I'll be prepared better. Um, and yeah, now it's getting later. We're gonna pack all the camping chairs, everything, take a buggy and go and see some right there. Cause that's, uh, that's the one I know actually out of all the people that will be performing. So we're gonna go do that. <laughs> So we took one of those trolleys that I showed you in the last video, an amazing idea, everybody had them, you can put your chairs in it, all your camp and stuff, all the things that you need for the gigs or your children. And I was pulling it across the whole field and a man tapped me on my shoulder and showed me a wheel. I lost a wheel. My assembling skills, as I showed you in the last video, were not good. So I lost a wheel, but worse, I lost a screw. So as you can see, the few people that were with us, the family members, um, came together with two zip ties that they found in one of the stalls and a hairband and they can uh, put it together so for the rest of the day it was okay and then when we got back to the camp granddad rescued us with an extra bolt so remember to assemble your stuff correctly <laughs> oh well the bobble was my idea and i was like yeah, it doesn't come off this is like every one of us have like put a little bit of thing into it and then it's fixed we should it. gonna drag it then we should do like a, <laughs> you know like a so we're gonna go and do this green screen thing they've got different backgrounds and you can act out something and then they airdrop the clip to your phone and that's one of the three activities so no one wants to do it so that's gonna be pretty cool and we're just in time because they're stopping at two o'clock so just in time you're gonna go with the little kitties? He's doing Jake. Oh, hold on, Ariel. <laughs> yeah, cool. What are you gonna do with the kitty? Are you gonna climb? You're gonna clap him, pet him? Oh, she didn't call. 
<laughs> the kitty and you scream. It's cut there. <laughs> <laughs> No, we haven't added the kitty yet. the show and now we're gonna do some pottery so that's gonna be good but well, behind you there's an arcade will we see what's in the arcade now right there the arcade. I'm not sure what's in it, but we can go and see. But we've got a few gigs starting soon, so we need to ask Dad when's the gig. Yeah, what, no. What's the next music stuff? Oh. It's three o'clock already. Yeah, yeah so we're, we're going. Go. We're going right now to Colonel Mustard. Do, 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 do. Yep. Colonel Mustard and the Dijon Five. It's at four o'clock. It is twelve o'clock. Watch. Oh, it's three o'clock. But what are we doing? In, like, oh. I'll I'll read it to you. This says, hit by an astronaut. <laughs> Flattened by a fallen piano. Oh, you've got all the games here for the kids. What do you think Ariel's gonna get? Are you Jules or Gibbs? Hold on! Waiting for pizzas? Oh, okay, yum. Okay, we've done the arcades, we've done things, we've got pizzas from an Italian thing. And we're gonna go and watch and listen to some music now and chill. Yeah? yeah. That was good. Yeah? What's up? moments later good morning everyone and welcome to Bella drum day three it's our last day very long day we've got fireworks quite a few different bands to see today we're gonna do breakfast we're gonna look in our little booklets what we're doing today I know we're collecting the pots I know we're collecting the pots we're gonna see scouting for girls and we'll see we'll see what the last day brings so I've got all my sparkles I've got my head up because you know 
camping and hair washing is just not <laughs> those two don't go together so we're gonna head off can i are you posing can i see your glitter show me your arms look how beautiful you look in your legs you're all glittery <laughs> part of a crew do you like it yeah it's cool isn't it but that's okay boys can have glare well done Next day. That's the one. Yeah, I love that movie. You know what I mean? So you were right. Yeah. Because yeah. it was that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. We're, we're off in Shetland, so we're all Scandinavian. I lost the kids. Oh, I thought I lost you. Are you making rocks? Someone's in his name. Try to write by himself. Who's that? Oh, Try to write his name by himself. Wow. By accident. By accident. Um, by accident. By accident. Oh, you're gonna have a kitty one. Cute. There's all these stuff to do for the kids. All the tents have different activities. So it's quite good, especially if you're queuing for like wrestling, like we are now, and then the kids are doing other stuff. <laughs> 